How's the love life going, Eric? Fucking any bitches? I am fucking not a single bitch. You owe a. Okay, so we're back, and this fucking idiot decided to actually hit him with the frying pan, which didn't do shit, so we had to stop and get another one over there. Yeah, it's. The bathroom's probably running low at this point. <laughs> Somehow I don't think it is. I wonder if I can go get another one. I'm gonna try to get another one. Don't even fucking bother. Or actually, I'm probably gonna. Oh, never no, mind. No, I. Uh... Oh, he is gonna cut this cutscene. Who touched it? I want you to do something. I want you to do something. Jump and do the, the helicopter tail. Just for a second. Now think about that. Imagine squirrels. In our real life. <laughs> doing that shit. <laughs> Think about that. Just a fucking... Just a bunch of... <laughs> just flying across your fucking front driveway. You you walk outside and yeah, it's just like... They're just flying across your yard. That's... I'm sorry, that's incredible. I, I just made that realization while we were getting this fucker over there earlier. <laughs> just the thought of an actual squirrel oh my doing God. that is visually hilarious. I mean, like, Tails from Sonic, how he has two tails. Yeah. You know, there's always been talk of, like, that's bullshit. The tails would get tangled around each other. It's not like it's on, like, a fucking axle and they're, like, spinning independently. No, it's two tails from a singular base. They would get tangled around each other. But this is, you know, just it just flapping around really fast. It's more feasible and it's just funnier to think because <laughs> squirrels are actually real. Not two tailed foxes. But anyways. Don't, don't, don't be knocking tails. Or knuckles for that matter. Oh, I love. Did he just fall in the water? Yeah, he didn't blow. Nope, oh, well, fuck it. Fuck that shit! <laughs> no, I like tails and knuckles and Sonic. Even though they haven't made a good game. He just and like, knocked you the fuck out! Yeah. <laughs> Jesus! Fuck that shit! That's a draft in this world? You walk up to a general, he just beats the fuck out of you and throws you on a boat? Now you're in the fucking army. Now you're in the war, bitch. Fight. Here, Saving Private Ryan. Yeah. This is gonna be the... I think the guy on the right's gonna throw up in a second. Yeah, exactly like they did in the movie, too. I don't get a uniform, it's a fucking helmet. Wait, do I have a rank and they don't? Uh, did you realize that he doesn't have a fucking speech bubble anymore? I got it. Somebody mind telling me what oh yeah, there's no speech there. bubble. The shit. It's <laughs> just like, fuck you. I like how they use the same sound as the squirrels dying from vomiting because they couldn't bother to record a new bit of audio. <laughs> Imagine a game with this much dialogue filled the cartridge up quite a bit. For some reason, I'm imagining all these squirrels being played by Jesse Eisenberg. All of them are Jesse Eisenberg. Yeah, I don't know why. Something about their buck teeth, and he doesn't even have buck teeth, so I don't know why I'm thinking that. Have I ever struck you as looking like Jesse Eisenberg? Oh, God. Um, no. I'm <coughs> thinking about it now. Maybe there's a very vague resemblance. But I mean, not. like, before I had the mohawk, and, you know, I had the, you know, I had the, like, little, little curlier. the curly shit on the side. I mean, I can kind of see why someone would think maybe a little, but it's nothing I would come up with my own, no. Dude, there are so many people. Like, when I was working at Jewel, so many people. You look like Jesse Eisenberg. You look like Jesse Eisenberg. Oh my god, you look like Jesse Eisenberg. And I just, I didn't get it. I don't see it. I like Jesse Eisenberg. I'd suck his dick. Yeah. I don't, I wouldn't suck my own dick. Yeah, you would. Nah, if I could, I probably would. Everyone's tried to do it. Was like that the, the <laughs> Everyone's tried to do it. <laughs> I've never tried it. So, so fucking weirdo. Or whatever, yeah, whatever yeah he's just like, well, fine. Yeah, I could. he was just like, oh, I could never reach. What do you mean you can never reach? Yeah, I can never reach my own dick. So you actually tried it? You actually tried it? <laughs> fucking weirdo. <laughs> yeah, didn't you? No. <laughs> weirdo. Um, but whatever the line, he insulted him somehow. I can't remember what it was. Uh, the Bloodhound Gang has a lyric in one of their songs. Uh, um, if, what was it like? If I could do it myself, I'd probably never leave the house. <laughs> Sounds like the Bloodhound Gang. Yeah, and... They're a classy bunch. Oh, yeah. They got, they got some pretty witty humor. You and me, Despite how vulgar it is, I think it, they, they got some uh, witty shit. They do, they do. You yeah. know, speaking of people looking like actors, I was told, oh, early on, and it made sense early on in the, in the early days of Harry Potter that I looked a lot like Daniel Radcliffe when he was a youngin'. And I was always pissed by that, because he looks like a fucking nerd. 
and now he's grown up, and now everyone thinks he's hot as hell. And I don't look like Daniel Radcliffe anymore. And I'm like, well, you know, fuck all of y'all. I don't oh, give a shit. This is shit. Jesus. Yeah, like, why couldn't I look like him when he was good? I don't look like any celebrity that I can think of. Not a single one. I don't know anyone who looks like me. I really don't. Yeah, I, I can't really picture myself as... Yeah. Oh, I am fucking fucked. There is... I think you do, actually. There is a pro wrestler named Dean Ambrose. Who... Dean Ambrose. Honest to God, it's in the face. I Whenever I see him, I think of you. And he's not perfect resemblance. I can tell you guys apart. Your hair is different. He's taller than you. He's got more muscle on him than you. But in the face, he has a striking resemblance to you that my family always brings up when he's on the screen. They're just like, oh yeah, he's like then he looks like your friend Eric. He really looks like Eric. I'm like, I know he does. We're gonna have to put up a picture of him and me on the screen and see if other people agree. I don't know if the picture will work. <coughs> I mean, it depends on the pictures you pick, but like, just knowing you guys in real life, when you in real life and seeing him on TV, it just, I, I always get the resemblance. Maybe it's just me. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but my family agrees with me. Yeah. You just hit the mic, dude. I'm fucking sorry. Murder holes. Christ. What the hell are you doing? Oh. Watch yourself. Oh, that was that was upsetting. Aww. Well, you got real crazy. You got fucking killed. Seriously, what what rank is that? We're gonna have to look that up I don't like know. after this episode. I'm sure it'll be all in the comments. <coughs> Yeah, we know multiple people that were in the military. I'm sure they could figure it out for us, but... Awesome weapon for army, Right. by the way. Double Uzis, <laughs> absolutely Uzi's. approved by the United States government, or whatever the fuck. I guess it's not the U.S. here, so I guess maybe it is. Who goddamn knows. Also, uh, no ammo, or unlimited ammo, I should say. I kind of like how they did in this game, though. The, the yeah, unlimited ammo, but you do have to reload. It kind of, you know, helps keep the balance. All right, we got it. How, what the fu- how is he reloading like that? Does he have clips it's hanging like, off the end? It's like GoldenEye 007 reloading or something. Uh, my, my favorite is, especially in dual-wielding games of any kind, when you reload, the gun just kind of falls out of frame. Yeah. So you hear click, click, clack, clack, and then it comes back up. Hey, it's good now. Man, the fucking janky ass. Are you gonna go at any point? Is there a please- Ah, oh, fuck. What? There's no options- for, like, changing these controls. What's wrong with the controls? This! You move with the C-stick. Yeah. It's fucking weird. You don't move with the right stick. You can't move and, with the stick anymore? Well, you can, yeah, but, like, you remember when we were doing the zombies and I was like... Yeah, I remember when we were doing the zombies. Like, ah, oh, God, it's just... Get over it, bitch. Go I'm in. Let's fucking Reload do first. this. Reload oh, first. God, you can't move. Go in the fucking hole. I gotta move like this. Just jump over the fucking thing! God damn it, Eric. <clears throat> yeah, I wanna say this is a pretty lengthy part of the game. I feel like it is as well, yeah. Uh, well, they had a lot to do. Oh, oh! And yeah, I can't remember if it's, there's a lot going on or if it's just really hard and I always died a bunch. I think it was really hard and you died a bunch because I remember I could not do the tank level to save my goddamn life. I was terrible at the tank. Terrible. Does they just kill? I like how we've we've how how you know obviously this is a parody of Nazis, but I like oh. way to go. And so it begins. <sighs> this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna hit A so the fucking circle can close. Sorry, I was looking at stuff. Well, stop looking at shit. Look at the screen of your fucking controller. You're doing a job here, asshole. Tucker looks so fucking mad. <laughs> He's got a cigar from somewhere. It's like the mad, but I'm gonna fuck shit up mad. Great smoke effects. <coughs> Even when he turns his head, the smoke just keeps coming from the same spot. Oh, wait, no, I guess it is following the cigar. That works. But seriously, just... Actually, yeah, it is like that is decent for N sixty four. I mean, minus the jagged lines. It's a it, couple but... white lines sticking up in the air, but you know what? That's decent for the N sixty four. Open fire, dude. You only got to aim. Yeah, just shoot. Headshots get fast. Oh, you gotta like aim at the fucking. That's a hard dude. god. They're gonna shoot that thing and blow it up. I guess you can't. No, you can. Kill the fucking. There you go. Well, you hit him. I don't know if he's dead, but you hit him. How did I used to be good at this? Oh, Jesus. oh my god. I like how I got a bayonet, so I'm gonna run farther away. I'm just strafe past you. Use my melee weapon from a fucking afar. That's how we do it. Did he try swinging at me from a distance? I think he did, yeah. 
Oh, to your left, to your left. This is a long range weapon, okay. I need distance to use it effectively. Oh, cool. I, I beat him. Did I even get shot once? Oh, uh, no, not that time. Oh, oh I'm missing two. Well, maybe you fucking did. I don't know. No Want to go where you're supposed to? Go through the fucking. Go through the lasers, man. Go through them. Go right the fuck through them. It'll be fine. Just go through the lasers. You'll be fine. You don't believe me, do you? There you go, you little fuck. Wee. I love the the, the the trope of these fucking lasers, especially that you can see them. Yeah. Like, in, in real life, is there any security system that uses visible lasers? Yeah. What's the What is the point? Let's make sure they all know that they can't walk through here. What well, movie it. was it with fucking Catherine Zeta-Jones that did that shit? I can't remember. She was a spy and she was dodging very visible lasers. Uh, I don't know Resident Evil did it. They didn't or they did it? Did it. Oh, well, I think a lot of movies do it now. <coughs> but I think Catherine Zeta-Jones is one better than the first. Oh, you got stabbed. Wanna shoot him? There. I was... I didn't oh, finish the recoil yeah, 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 animation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Excuses. You know, not only that, but it's like... It's... L Lasers that you can walk through. Shit! I put my guns away. But you can walk through them, they just get the alarm, but in like so many pop culture things, they like saw through you. Well, yeah, yeah, this one, they just blow up. It's like an explosion. Yeah, yeah at least it's a mine here, that makes sense. Even though the mine also would not have a fucking visible laser, because who would be dumb enough to design that shit? I gotta say, oh God, favorite shit. part of Goldeneye, though. You're gonna have to right back into those things. Favorite bit of Goldeneye was being able to set those mines on the wall. Oh, yeah. When I was first figuring it out, I, I didn't really understand how it worked. I didn't realize the mine detonated. I thought you just go through the laser, there's an explosion, and you die. So I'm at the end of a long hallway playing against whoever I was playing against, and I'm like, okay, I got these mines, oh, I got these lasers. So I stick it on the wall next to me, the laser goes all the way down the hallway. I'm thinking it's going to hit him and kill him. He walked into it, yeah, but he's fucking 50 feet away. The bomb, the mine, I just said <laughs> the wall blows up and killed me. I'm like, what the fuck, man? I, I actually forgot about that. I forgot that you could legitimately, like, it's like an actual laser. Fun shit, man. It was fun. I love that game. Everyone loved Goldeneye. If you didn't love Goldeneye, you're a fucking godless heathen. Oh, yeah. That game. I mean, it might not have held up super well, like, Maybe aged. Not. But as but, far as the N64 goes. <clears throat> yeah, that was a legendary thing, and Grant Kirkhope fucking gets me wet in the panty area all right, all right. with his soundtracks. Yeah, I gotta say, as good as uh, the Goldeneye game was, and everyone talks about how it's such a great James Bond movie, I'm not a big fan of it as a movie. Yeah, I've never really been too much into the James Bond. God. Well, I like James Bond in general. I've actually just been watching it recently with somebody. I've been trying to watch all of them. I think we're on number the tenth one now, and I've seen a lot of the more recent ones. I've only seen a few of the old ones, so I'm trying to go through, and we're keeping a tally of every actor who played Bond and how many women he had sex with and how many times he had sex with them. Figure out who was the most successful with the ladies out of all the Bonds. Oh, nice. We should have done with kills and everything, but we just stuck with the ladies at that point. So I'm going through them all, but as far as Goldeneye the movie goes, it's just, yeah, another Sean Bean and. Everyone knows Sean Bean's in the movie. He ain't making it to the end. I heard that it's pretty close to the uh, the game in terms of like the areas he goes to and stuff like that. I believe it is. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's why that is one reason why I want to watch it. It's just to uh, maybe get a little nostalgic, see areas that yeah. were in the game and shit. You ever play Perfect Dark? Oh, I love Perfect. Yeah, I think it was off the exact same engine, wasn't it? They just oh yeah, it all because yeah, they made the Perfect Dark sequel because the the they, they wanted to do another Goldeneye. Like another James Bond game, but Rare was just like, no, you've you already did Goldeneye, do something different. So they were like, fine, we're gonna fucking do Perfect Dark, which was like the spiritual successor. And it was badass. And it was badass, yes. Alright, before we continue, I think we should end the episode, because we are like 12 minutes or something. My math is terrible, but I think that's right. Yeah, 13-ish, now 14. Well, fuck you too! Oh shit. Yeah. Alright, yeah, see you guys. Alright.